Um, so let's do an all signs reading. I uh, tonight the moon is in Leo, it's at 70% illumination. So, yes, let's see what that kind of energy is bringing in for you. Um, at this time, very fiery energy. Um, so yeah. Interesting. So, we have the air element. You could be an air sign or you could be all up in your head, right? In the energy of an air sign. Um, but air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but this is all about like discernment and philosophy and empathy and really having your head in the clouds. Um, I would know, I'm an air sign. <laughs> um, but you know, like, and that's really the imagery I'm seeing here. It's kind of like all up in your head, um, kind of energy. Yeah. Um, then we have the gray short, timid, misunderstood, and shy. I doubt that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so then we have star seed, um, self, memories, and identity. So I feel like your focus right now is kind of like figuring yourself out, figuring out like what you want, your, your sense of direction, right? You're looking like you're daydreaming over here. It's like, um, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what you're daydreaming about, but it kind of looks like a yeah, very pensive energy. Star seeds always kind of have this feeling of like living in the world, but not really feeling like a part of the world, you know? So, this could also like tap into like dreams or like deja vu's that you might be having, having, <laughs> having, um, yes. I know English. <laughs> All right, so we have two of wands in reverse with uh, the moon in reverse and Two of Wands in the upright is like being indecisive, right? And so, and kind of at a crossroads about something. But this is in reverse. So to me, this is like saying that like you're very decisive. Like you know what you want. You're not at a crossroad. You're still in this energy of overthinking though. But like, it's kind of like being like, all right, yeah. It's, you could be in the energy of manifesting something here. With the moon in reverse, the moon card is usually about, like, something coming to light or, like, you know, like, something being illuminated. Uh, this could be, like, with the two of wands in reverse, this could be, like, making the decision to, like, speak a truth, right? Or to, like bring something to the surface to talk about something. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Talk about what? So we have the Hierophant in reverse and four of pentacles. So far we have Pisces and Taurus energy on the board, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have to be one of those signs. That's just the energy I'm seeing here. 
Um, with the higher power in reverse, this is the energy of like feeling like like not received well or feeling like you don't really have like a sense of authority or maybe you don't want to have a sense of authority. Um, but like, cause the Hierophant is all about like kind of being an authoritarian, like trying to lead a flock. And I feel like you're just kind of like, almost like that Sigma energy that kind of sits outside of that. You're like, you've got bigger things to think on than like hierarchies or like, you know, trying to, trying to fit into all that shit. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, it looks to me like you're the kind of person that really focuses on like your own shit, right? Like your own resources, your own life, you know, you're not one to sit there and like be concerned with what Mr. Jones has next door, you know, it's like, like, you know, this could also be the energy of like holding on to something. Um, we'll dive a little bit deeper. Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse, right? That's Aries energy with the Ten of Swords. And this could talk about how, like, maybe in a past connection or maybe, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it's kind of like this defeated energy or feeling like, like betrayed or like stabbed in the back by somebody. Right, with the Four of Pentacles, you know, being one that's like, you could be, like, kind of in that energy of, like, protecting yourself. And, like, and that's why there's this focus on your resources rather than, like, your emotional stuff. Um, it's almost, like, easier to, like, bury your head in a work probably than it is to think on, like, you know where you're at on an emotional scale, right? With the death card in reverse, right? Um, Scorpio energy. That's like saying like in your rebirth, right? Especially after this defeat, the 10 of swords, it's like, um, I feel like you might take, you might have taken like kind of a break from like relationships or connections to kind of like work on yourself. Um, kind of like have some some isolated time to, you know to really think on like some things build your foundation with that four of pentacles um we have the page of cups in reverse um with a star right and the page of cups in reverse could represent like you know, perhaps, like, having a change in your, like, uh, feelings. Or, you know, like, having a change of heart. With the star card, the Aquarius card, this is all about, like, finding, like, light in the darkness after, you know, and with the, the page of cups in reverse, it's like, you're probably having lost somebody that you loved, right? Or, like, you know, felt betrayed by somebody that you loved in the past. Um, but I say that it was not easy for you to, like, you know, get in that energy. Then we have the Justice card right here. Um, Libra energy. Um, you have two of the three air signs out right now, you know, and with the air element being the first card out, I do feel a lot of this energy of, like, having to rebalance yourself, having to kind of save your own day sometimes, and... And really valuing that, um, that ability, right? Um, with the Justice card being there, it's like this energy of, like, the scales being balanced, things, you know, coming into focus. I'm seeing the yin and the yang kind of, like, coming together here for you. And 
I don't feel like this was an easy thing. You know, it's like they say, like, if you're prepared, if you want peace, prepare for war, you know, like, if you wanted stability to prepare for, like, a lack of stability, right, because you have to learn what it means to acquire that, and what that means is oftentimes a hard road, you know. Um, with the Knight of Swords, I see you taking action here towards something, uh, towards an opportunity. Also, like, seeing, like, this star up here is kind of like what he's following. And then with the star, you know, here, it's kind of like I could see, like, the energy of you, like, taking action towards, like, a positive change or towards, you know, like, positive energy. We'll find out. Um towards something that you're hopeful, towards something that is light to you. Yeah, we've got the Page of Wands. Oh, I'm showing up with the Four of Cups in reverse, right? Which is interesting. The Page of Wands is like an offer or like an opportunity. It's like an offer, like receiving an offer. Four of Cups in the upright represents like rejecting an offer. Um, but the Four of Cups is in reverse, meaning like an offer is accepted here. Um... Then we have the Ace of Swords in Reverse, so I'm going to clarify this real fast. Is the Ace of Swords in Reverse? With the Page of Pentacles, um... It's showing me that you could have, like, maybe more than one person, like, coming in, making offers, or, like, suitors, if you will, you know? And and what I'm really seeing here is, like, you know, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, like, not taking action towards, like, one, and then with the Knight of Swords taking action towards another energy here. Um, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is, like, the energy of, like, letting go of something. Or, you know, no, no longer waiting on something. Um, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, because you're seeing a situation for what it is, and that's enough for you, right? Three Pentacles in reverse tells me that there's like, um, like there's not this energy of like codependency, right? There's not this energy of needing to rely on others for your stability, especially with the Four of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like being self reliant is like really important to you, um, because you want to know that like you're not with people because you feel like you need to be, you're with people because you want to be, um. It seems like, you know, you're you're pretty well established. And if you aren't yet, then you're on the road to being that, you know. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I see you taking up a new cycle here. Um, a new endeavor. You might even, like, be starting a new business venture or you know this could be like the beginning of the next chapter in your journey um that's really the energy it feels like like new opportunities new cycles new 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 you know it's like i'm seeing this rebirth energy of like letting go of like old things and Kind of like that spring cleaning energy. Let's 
Tribala. Commit entirely and without hesitation to your most passionate inspirations. There are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you may recognize. Believe in yourself, even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you toward your destiny, but the instinctive recognition of your true purpose. Arthur of Kali. You are forging your authentic path. In support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys and I'll catch you later.